about one part of our fund, uh, community from another. I think it's the nature of local government. It's all, also the nature of our ranking system and how it's set up. So I don't think we should get uh, caught up in the fact that one part of the community might be paying more rates for another part of the community. But after all, we are one community. And the reality is that some locations are more expensive to service, and we know that's the case with the Southern Water Bay Islands. And we also know that we're probably raising revenue from other parts of the city uh, to a greater level than what we receive here. And I guess we're at that stage with the Southern Water Bay Islands, but that is the case, and that's been documented as was stated. But if there is more money going to be made available for the Southern Water Bay Islands, Obviously, that an industry that is suitable for the islands that we'd all like to see developed. But you are not going to get tourism on the Southern Morton Bay Islands if residents get stories into the media about problems in the area. Because what that happens, it drives down interest in the area, it drives down the perception of the area. And it also drives down property values ultimately and the prospects of improving that. What we need to do, and what America City needs to do, is promote the islands for what they are, which is a terrific natural asset of not only Redland City, but South East Queensland and North Australia. We actually need to promote it as a great place to visit, because we all know it's a great place to live. What we need to do is sell the benefits of Southern Water Bay Island, what they are to Redlands, what they are to South East Queensland and North Australia. The fact is, they are right on the doorstep of Australia's third largest capital city. And I've said this to many of you before, imagine that scenario in any other part of the world. So what we need to do is to capitalise on your assets. And you need a leader that's going to promote the positives of your own. You need to provide me with the good news stories to sell to the rest of the country. If I could just use a comparison of Ipswich and how it was perceived 10 years ago. It was the big black hole of South East Queensland. It was strong leadership focusing on the opportunities there, and we know there are many, it's turned it around. It's gone from a coal mine to a gold mine. This is what we need to achieve sustainability. And the solutions will involve all of us. It will involve all the stakeholders, yourselves as residents. It will also involve council, a positive attitude from council, and of course, investors. And you need to bring all of those people to the table to find a compromise that all of them that will deliver benefit to you as Islanders and to us as the city. So my answer to my answer doesn't cost you anything by the way to start delivering sustainability to these islands is a positive attitude, positive stories, and let's start promoting the benefits of the city. Thank you tonight. And I have actually taken the two questions uh, uh, separately because the first question asked as mayor, how would I ensure that my fellow councillors and state government support the well-documented needs of the Southern Water Bay Islands. And the first thing I'd say is the council is a group of 10 independent so councillors representing 10 divisions. And over this last term, Barbara and I have worked really hard to get those councillors to be able, particularly new councillors not familiar with the issues, to understand the issues associated with the Southern Water Bay Islands, the fabulous opportunities, but also the issues that we know there are. And we've done that through building relationships. And that's really important, that's building relationships with the councillors, between the councillors and with yourselves as a community. Uh, in terms of working with the state government, I have worked very hard with the state, state government, and now we've got a new state government to go and work with, just to give you some idea of, it, of what's been done. And I'll continue as Mayor to do this on your behalf. We've brought some ministers over here, we've brought federal senators over here, we've brought RDA people over here, we've brought Education Queensland people. And the ministers, you can talk about a hinge for Greaves, Nolan, uh, the Translink the CEO, the Ola Bits, I've met with all of those on regular occasions. And, uh, and I would continue to do that to advocate for the Southern Western Bay Islands. It's important that our independent councillors understand the issues. But the role of the mayor in terms of that is to pull those people together to be able to make good decisions. And part of the value of having independent councillors is that you get good debate. When you have differences of opinion, you get good debate. Sometimes the doors are slammed and the clock fell off the wall, but we've had good debate. And it means that you have the opportunity to get uh, some good decisions made. So in terms of support for Southern Water Islands, that's what I have been involved in very heavily. 
And councillors have spent countless hours, particularly new councillors, understanding the, the opportunities and the issues for the islands. In terms of sustainability, there's a key issue to sustainability, and that is transport. Absolutely fundamental to anything to do with sustainability, be it tourism, be it economic development, transport is fundamental. And that is it has to be effective, timely, reasonable priced, in integrated with the land transport. And that, for me, is an immediate priority. We'll talk more about that when I come to the uh, talk. Really important to encourage on-island activities. Because the more and services, the more we can have on island, the greater the turnaround of the dollars within the island and the great economic growth on the island. And economic development on the island is really important. Employment opportunities on island, so people don't need to go off uh, the island. And I actually had a business in the other day, and we were talking to them about the potential or the possibility of establishing their business on the island so that the employment could be, uh, could be created here. So uh, support for the Chambers of Commerce, and Council has done that. Support for tourism. Uh, for example, in 2009, it was when the Blue Parrot wasn't open at night time, some of our tourist accommodation places had, were not able to fit to cook for people because that wasn't part of their license. But there was nowhere for people to go. So what did they do? They did it uh, sort of underhand. So council came in and said, right, we'll change that. But the people at the B&Bs, you can offer meals uh, because otherwise you, 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 your guests are not going to eat. And council needs to be flexible to be able to do things differently on the islands than perhaps they are done on the mainland documented through Great South East. That's a way that uh, council and the community working together can increase the economic development on the island. NBN. And I got a letter yesterday and I meant to bring it with me, I'm not sure whether I've got it with me, to say that we are in the next three year uh, stint of NBN. We don't know yet, but so, uh, that's a great exit. We're not sure just which is what where, but we have a letter to say that we are in and that we will know uh, next week just sort of which are the areas that we are. So that's as a community to prepare that digital economy. And the, the federal government will actually assist in doing that. So you'll hear more of that because you'll be integrally engaged in that. So we, and we, we need to have that preparation so we get the best value from it. We need facilities for all ages so that our young people aren't having to go off the island to go to a skate park. And you'll be aware that last week I called for the scope park to be brought forward into this next financial year instead of one later. So that the young people here on the play can go skating on the skate park instead of jumping off the roof of the jetty. And, uh, and that's real. And the sports fields, the 750000 we got from the government, it's important we get more. We're looking for more from the federal government. So we need to ensure the facilities are here so our young people are here, they stay here and they want to stay here. Our community development activities. We need to, uh, we support with sponsorship a number of activities. The Blue Light Disco, NAPCAN activities, uh, we support seniors activities with seniors expos, we sponsor a heap of activities on the island, from concerts to mosaics uh, and everything in between. So the sustainability of the island depends on transport because people need to be able to come to and from, whether it's tourism, whether it's for day visits, whether it's for holidays, but also people working here need to be able to come to and fro and also to do it at a reasonable price. So key to it, key case is that with these transport on island activities. Buy as much as you can on the island. You've got great shops. The more you buy, the more they'll bring in. Uh, support for business through our chambers of commerce, support for tourism, and NBN is a, you know, a major win. And if we will be arguing to get that earlier in the year than later. And the whole involvement of the community. Sustainability is about a community and it's about all aspects of a community. And the social, the environmental, the cultural and the community activities are there critical. And we can't do one without the other day out here.